All right, how's everyone doing today? Uh, sorry it took so long to get back to this. Uh, I tried to, well, not rush it, but I mean, I'm I'm always doing projects, so getting to filming this shit is, you know, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm not doing it for me because I hate filming, but I do like doing the projects. So uh, your support really helps, and uh, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, the support's been really going up lately. Thanks for everyone that subscribed, and uh, I'm gonna try to get the next build going as quick as possible. So here goes, this is the breakdown of uh, all the costs and uh, everything associated with the, the trailer build. So I'm going to put the two prices on everything. I'm going to have the US price and the Canadian price. Since uh, I'm Canadian, all the prices were bought in Canadian currency. But uh, I will convert it to uh, US for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are from down there. So here goes. Alright, so first off we got the trailer base. So that's the actual uh, trailer I started off with which was an 8x4 trailer that I think they used for um, a, a ski do at some point, or a sled, you know what I mean? And they cut it down to make a small utility trailer. So I paid 300 bucks uh, Canadian for that, so 228 US. And uh, I'd say that's pretty reasonable since I got all the frame for it, the axles, the wheels, the, the actual tires were new, and uh, the lighting was all there, so leaf springs you know I'd say it's pretty good uh, pretty good start base for it so then the next thing I did was uh, tear it all down took all the the old plywood off everything that was run took that stuff off and uh, tried to I don't know save the fenders as much as possible you can see in the top picture I don't think you guys ever saw that in the videos but I did actually put a, a whole day and a half work on those fenders so added a lip to them and uh, kind of did a a small, uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Let's try to zoom in there. There's a small, like, uh, what do you call that? Like, angle cut out so that the angle goes in a little bit. If you can see, there wasn't a lip on the old one. And uh, I added that lip. So I got this rust paint uh, armor coat. This is going to zoom back out. There we go. So I uh, got rust paint, got some uh, black, and I also got some uh, aluminum gray. So that cost me 25 Canadian, 19 US. Next up, picked up this jack at Princess Auto. Not much to say about the jack, except it was uh, 35 bucks, uh, 26 uh, USD. The only thing, if I would have, you know, wanted to spend the big bucks, I would have got one with a wheel because it would have been a lot more practical. Next up, framing. So I decided to go with a 2x3 framing, basically because it was the lightest and the cheapest. And I also put it on 12 centers. One for the strength, and two because the aluminum flashing that I put later on in the series uh, is on... is uh, 24 inches wide. So that way, if I screwed it in, I would catch the um, aspenite, and I would catch the stud making it more sturdy that cost $105 Canadian and 70 bucks US next up Aspenite I think I bought uh, six sheets of Aspenite uh, so 77 bucks with tax and 60 bucks US and I think the sheets now then they were around 13 bucks a sheet now they're around 28 bucks a sheet so they went up drastically since uh, the whole Corona shababble went down so uh, I'm happy I had that project going then and not now, but I also need more for projects now that I'm going to reveal in a pr next episode. So yeah, 716 is basically uh, the thickness they put on uh, housing walls and garage walls. It was thick enough, strong enough. That's what I went with. Next up, the uh, aluminum. So the aluminum uh, uttered in the trailer was the biggest uh, single cost. Cost... Uh, Three hundred and sixty uh, sixteen dollars Canadian. Plus, I don't know if you can see that down there. It also cost me uh, twenty three dollars Canadian and seventeen fifty US for the the aluminum kind of trimming. Basically, it's the same thing. One side's white, the other side's aluminum. But I, I ran out, so I had to go buy more to do the aluminum. And uh, yeah, for me, I was lucky. I had a uh, my boss had the uh, the bender available. So I just brought it up over to the shop and uh, bent everything I needed. I was pretty familiar with it. But uh, it's really easy to learn, guys. Like, 
just go down to Home Depot, rent it. You can go rent one at Home Depot, buy that flat stock. It's uh, 24 inches wide, 100 feet roll. You can do a bunch of stuff with it. You see the fascia on my garage in the background. That's what I did that with, just flat stock. And once you get a hang of it, you don't want to buy the pre-made one anymore. Like it's it's just it's just so easy. You can do exactly what you need. And honestly, it's I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. It came out good. So I love it. So uh, definitely work that. Next up, the steel for the door hinges and latch. So I mean, I'm no engineer and I'm no welder, but I think this this is a pretty good design. So what I decided to go with was uh, just a rectangle flange with a uh, three quarter inch plywood, which I had on hand. That's why I don't have it priced out. And I decided to uh, screw that onto the flange and the hinges are barn style hinges that I welded the holes in. So it just looks like, you know, one continuous hinge. And I also, as I stated out in my, in my other video, I uh, let the uh, hinge overhang on the side of the trailer so the door can come out, you know, uh, 270 degrees, I think. And for the latch, I just uh, got one of those uh, bolt latches, which has a hole at the end so you can put the lock so you can't pull it out. And the one on the bottom is just so the door doesn't twist. So all that together was um, $86 at uh, my, uh, we don't really have like a, I don't know, like a Home Depot for steel where I'm from. So basically what we do is uh, we go to our local, uh, uh, what do you call that? Like fabrication shop and you can buy steel off of them. So that's the prices. You can't really negotiate. Sometimes they have leftover stuff. You can kind of go through their uh, leftover bin. And yeah, so that's basically it for the flange. And then the lights and the mud flaps and uh, the miscellaneous shit. There's not much miscellaneous shit. There's not much to it at all, really, the trailer. But uh, the lights and all that cost me 70 bucks, And uh, the actual tail lights I, I saved from the original trailer. So uh, the mud flaps were just some uh, rubber I got at Home Depot. And uh, cut it to size. And yeah, really, like I said, miscellaneous. Maybe a few screws and uh, here and there. And uh, uh, caulking for... Uh, I caulked all the top of the... Um, the aluminum flanges, uh, aluminum, uh, come on, trim, there you go. So all the aluminum trim was uh, cocked over. So I'd say that's about it for the uh, miscellaneous. So finally, I think we're here, final, final price. The total build cost was 1035 oh, I almost said US, $1,035 Canadian. So that was with the uh, original trailer plus everything together. So that's the complete total taxes in everything so that comes down to around 786 us now since i prepared this video something happened i was uh getting something ready for another project another video and i had the trailer packed with shit and i hit a train track in uh, my local town going i don't know 60 or something and uh, a leaf spring snapped so uh Definitely, if you're going to build this project uh, and you, you intend to have some sort of weight in it, go down to the Princess Auto. They're 24 bucks each. Get yourself a set of new leaf springs. That's what I just did. So if you want, you could technically add another 50 bucks to this, these prices because I did get new leaf springs for them. I just didn't get them installed yet. But So whatever that is, plus 50. But uh, as you're going to see, I'm, I went down on a Marketplace on Facebook and... Uh, Got a few other trailers, took screenshots of the price and the sizes that compare with mine. So mine is 100% newish because it's homemade. And uh, I mean, it does the job. I, it really does drive very well. And uh, here's the first one. So this is a 2016 Holland. And uh, they want $4,200 Canadian. So 3200 US for... Basically the same size as mine. Now this one is a foot and a half wider and it is two feet short, shorter in length. So a little bit shorter, a little bit wider. So basically the same square footage as mine for four times the price. Four times the price. 
That's insane. And mine's technically newer, but technically older. So, I mean, you know, take it as you want. Take it with a grain of salt. But that that's my, that's my two cents on that. So here's another one. So this one's a little bit older. A lot a bit older, actually. Almost 15 years older. And uh, it has a square front end and really kind of looks like shit, you know what I mean? It doesn't look that appealing. But uh, it has the same basic characteristics as mine. Uh, the dimensions are here somewhere. Oh, I put them on the... He put them on the picture. So 8 by uh, 5 by 5. So it's uh, 1 foot wider than mine. And 2 feet shorter than mine. And about the same height. And he wants twice the price as mine. So again, if you guys want an enclosed trailer and you have the, the tools and the skills and, you know, you can follow it all along, it's definitely worth it to make your own trailer. 100% in my opinion. Here's another one, I think. So 2006, again, they want three times the price it cost me to build mine. This was the best picture the guy had. He's probably not going to sell this anytime soon. And uh, they didn't have any in my area. So this one's from Nova Scotia. I'm not from Nova Scotia. But uh, yeah, so, you know, take it as you want. But I'm pretty sure it's worth it to make your own trailer. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this, uh, make sure to... You know, like, subscribe, and uh, I really enjoy you guys watching, and uh, I really enjoy you guys' comments, uh, feedback. Everything really helps me and uh, really motivates me to make more videos. I'm more of a builder than a filmer, so uh, getting to filming and editing isn't my favorite part, but I do it for you guys. So uh, I have big projects in the future. I'm probably going to release a video uh, explaining a few of the future projects and what's coming next. Uh, I'll give you guys a little... Uh, I don't know, sneak peek for the guys that uh, stayed to the end of the video. But uh, the shed that's in the background of this picture, which is my shop, is getting moved to another location. I bought a lot in the next town over, and I need to get it moved. So that's a project in itself. Once it gets there, I'm making a extension on it, and there's going to be a whole... a lot of stuff going on with that, so that's going to be a, a few videos there. And I also have uh, two or three other big projects uh, on the go. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So see you guys next time.